Yo, yo. We're just getting everything going here. CW Hip Hop Live podcast for February 23rd. Let's go with SG the First. 2022. 2020 freaking two, man. I know, right? Thank you for tuning in to CW Hip Hop's live That's podcast. Kind of I'm right? your host, DJ Bank. Co host here, as always, I got Garden yes, sir. Prism. What's up? We do have SG the First in here for his what up, interview. What up? What's up, everybody? Back, WY Stand Up. Where, uh, where are you from? Where can they find you on social medias? Oh, Madison, Wisconsin. Um, Spotify, Instagram, uh, YouTube, SG the First. Yeah, that's your yeah, perfect. Perfect. Uh, you can follow us at, on Facebook and Instagram at CW Hip Hop. Follow me at BVNC95 on Facebook and Instagram. Garky, where can the listener find you at? You guys can find me on Instagram at Garky Gaines, G A R K E G A I N Z, and pretty much any other platform at just Garky. What about you, Prism? Where can I find you? You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Prism Rap, P R I Z M R A P. Uh, what about you, SG? Oh, wait. Yeah, we already did, we, we already did his. We already did his, yeah. We'll shout him out again. Ask you the first. Ask you the first. No worries, no worries. No worries. <laughs> Appreciate the plug. <laughs> and, and there's a distinction. It's one ST, right? For the first? Yeah, yes. like, like second, third, yep. first. First. All right. We what do have it? some new music before we get into the uh, podcast interview here. New music coming out of Wisconsin Hip Hop. We have Philly's Project, Love Renaissance, 1437. We also have Jashy B with Hail Satan, his song, Wyman. Uh, we have Devil Girl, another song. Prism just released his project, Dead Memories, that is out everywhere right now. Go stream it up. We also have a new project coming out from JD in March. Uh, March 18th is going to be that date. It's Changes. You can hit him up on uh, social medias at JD Makes Music to win a physical copy. Uh, if you buy a physical copy, you get to enter to win a hat from JD. He there. messed that up in the live show, too. I did. I, did. <laughs> I got to rework right, that in right. there. Oh, my um, gosh. But also, just a little little fun fact, Prism is going to be mixing that. So if you want to hear some mm -hmm. different style from him, uh, if you also want to get your stuff mixed by Prism, hit him up. Prism Rap. Do it. We also have new music from Nasal Mode, Spell Red, I Love You Truly, Mo City, TYB, Neezy. We got a lot of music. We're all eating out here. So make sure you guys go stream all that up. Uh, we do have also a night interview, special guest coming in to talk about his project that just dropped, Fresh Start. Ace Wild is going to be in here next week. And to shoot the shit, period. And to shoot the shit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just another another good, good podcast, live DJ. So make sure you guys are here for that as well. Uh, but I'm ready to start the interview with you. You got else? Okay. Else? Sounds good. Yeah, I've already quick. started off with a freaking yawn. That's how we start off a good <laughs> if interview. If you do it, just turn your head. Yeah, it right. Makes it easier for the editing. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> So right off the bat, I just want to welcome you to the CW Hip Hop Studio. Yo, what up, what Appreciate up? you for coming through, taking Appreciate time out of your week and your day and coming through. Appreciate the invite. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. How was the drive from Madison? It was nice, um, getting my thoughts, uh, you know, got to see the, the, the snow after, you know, the storm we just had, but, um... The storm, in quotes, it wasn't as bad as they thought no, it was. It wasn't, yeah, no, I was, it was totally was expecting, like, a full-on snow in, like, you can't leave <laughs> yeah, anywhere. It was terrible. <laughs> but, um, it, it, it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. Uh... So how did you come up with the name SG the First? SG the First. That's a, um, I guess, a transformation from Spook G. Uh, Spook G was the first. Wow. Spook G was my first. Um, <laughs> there it rap is. Name <laughs> right. Was my first rap name, and um, you know, life takes its toll on everybody. People mature, you know, and, and um, that Spook. I don't. I don't. I know a lot of people would throw negative negativity on that spook part when there's not really no negativity about it, but it was okay. I, I have to switch it up, but I've worked so hard to be the spook. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So how, how are people I, throwing negativity on it? Just for what the word means or what the word oh. comes from. Or okay. Just kind of like it was the spooky. Yeah. yeah. Spooky. Ooh, it it was there's positive. more to it, but oh, okay. I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into that. Right, positive, no, we, positive vibes. Uh, but um, uh, 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 yeah, so so um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but um, yeah, just the the transformation, growing up, maturing. So, as you the first, and um, yeah, it, it rolls off the tongue for me. So, I like no, I it's definitely it. a good name. I, I like the name for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, I yeah, it's got a story to it, so that's good. Yeah, totally, totally. And it wasn't like you know. I fell, bust my knee, and was like, ah, it's you first. Like, that's it. <laughs> hey, that's a story, though. It's, it's a, a story, story, but better it's better than it's the, it's Ace Wilde <laughs> went through a random name generator, okay? Hey, teach his own, man. Teach his own. own. Yeah, it's facts. <laughs> uh, so if you don't want me asking, how old are you? I am 39. 39. I'll be 40, I'll be 40 this uh, year when Volume 3 comes out. All right. well, now I should guess throw him this... a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Big old if you, four if zero. You are, if you are, uh, you got any arcades up here? We do. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow actually does yeah, have we do arcade. have an arcade. Yeah. 
I'll go for the arcade. Uh, Hell yeah, bar. bro. Yo, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> SP to first. And we can play Wisconsin music there yeah. or some shit. It's too. a bar. It's a, a oh, grill. It's a bar There's laser yeah. tag. Yeah. There's nice, a bunch nice, of shit. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, there is a uh, laser tag. Yeah. Hell yeah. Never done that. Let's, you've never done that? <laughs> oh, no. Bro, we're having an SG that's so fucking fun. spooky. <laughs> we're having a spooky Chris, or oh. Christmas party. Like, <laughs> birthday party. Birthday party. Instead of what? Instead of what? Wow. Water. Wasa on the water. Wasa on the water. That's what it's called. Wasa on the water. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I was going to ask because uh, mentioning uh, the number 82, it looks like that comes up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the significance with That's it? the yellow one. Okay, yeah. I figured so. Just want to make sure. Yeah, we yeah get no, no worries, no worries, no worries. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, how long ago did you start making music and what inspired you to start? Aye. How long ago did I start Aye. making music? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, high school, whatnot, um, me and my guy, Chaos, what up? I saw him in the chat. Yeah, I saw him um, in the chat before, yep. We was uh, coming out with some music or whatnot, um, and then, you know, life takes its toll, you know, that's just how it is. Uh, I went back to school, got my um, diploma in video game development. Uh, couldn't find nothing in video game development because you have to have experience. It's like, mm. I can't get experience if you're not going to give me experience, so... <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! That's exactly. But, um... And then um, I've always I've always liked music. I always had a way with words. Uh, I like how my voice sounds, especially when it comes to like emotional things. So it was like you know I'll give it a shot again. And um, this go round, it's either gonna happen or something's gonna happen. It's not gonna be like um, oh well, put it on, put it in the closet, don't think about it no more. You know something's gonna happen. It's just too much talent to just be chilling. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just facts. Don't let it go to waste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally, totally. And it, it runs in my family. Um, D Sago is always bringing bringing um, nice things out of me when it comes to the artist form at it, and um, like we were saying earlier, uh, working with artists that I've seen from you guys' platform, you know they want to work with me and I want to work with them, so that's always a good thing too. So um, we gotta just keep it going. Fuck Plus yeah. I love this hobby, man. I mean music, music's the shit. It is. You know, it's, it's fun, the right? Soul. It's it so touches, much fun. It, it, you can you can be upset with it, you can be happy with it, you can be disgusted with it, you can be terrified with it. It's just so much emotions to it. And if you willed it right, who's to say what can happen? You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm, I'm going off no, the again. Old no, man rant. No, Old look, man rant. Join it. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Now, uh, when you stream your music, um, do you use a specific uh, service or uh, like Apple Music or do Spotify? You use Spotify? I think it's um through Dish DistroKid. No, but no, no. Oh, uh, do you, you listen person. to music? Oh, you, do I? The way okay. you word these questions. No, 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 no. <laughs> do I listen to music on Spotify? Yes. Every now and then, yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. But it's you, more, it's more YouTube. More YouTube. YouTube. Okay. okay. Do you think you have an on repeat on your uh, Spotify? If you go to Spotify and you just search on repeat, do you think you'll have an on repeat playlist? Mm -hmm. Do you not? You not? You're not yeah, on I might. I might actually. I might because I. Ah, I listen to a lot of uh, like Ghostface Killer and Chef Rick Juan. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, that's actually what we could ask. Uh, what are, what are oh, some of your top five songs? Yeah, my bad. My bad. No, no, but, no, uh, we should ask you beforehand. I'm not. That's not gonna lie. Actually, yeah, but um, it. yeah. I mean, so what are some of your top five songs right now that you would say are kind of on repeat or like songs? Like, what you listen to on the way here? Ghostface Killer, Chef Rick Juan, Dave East, um, ah, uh, myself. Right. Yes, sir, dude. Yes, sir. And uh, Griselda. Griselda. Uh, okay. Benny, Benny the Butcher and um, Con Conway the Machine. Oh, and um, what's West Side Gun? My bad. My bad. No disrespect. Being oh. on the Cavabi. But uh, yeah, that's that's I don't even that's what I'm saying. I mean, I know I yeah, shoot yeah. first. I yeah, I know I shoot first. Facts, 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 facts. Yeah. So. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I like I like that. Uh, so, what would you say, like, as Either older artists that you listen to or newer artists. What what kind of what artists do you have that influence you? Probably those um, that I just said. Um, a lot of the um, the old schoolers. Um, Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Um, yes. Busta Rhymes. Uh, Nas. Um, oh, yeah. Pac, obviously. Um, more the old schoolers. Um, no, no, not throwing shade to the new stuff. Um, I mean, you're old head. Uh, you know, let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that makes sense. The, 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 the new stuff is, is banging. I mean, it's they're, they're doing a lot of great things for the the, the artists, the, the music industry, just in general. There's yeah. a lot of creativity going on right now, and um, I'm I, I'm trying to I'm trying to evolve my style, you know. But I feel like I, I am I am falling behind. <clears throat> excuse me, behind in the in the in the in the. I forgot what you asked me, man. My bad. Biggest <laughs> <laughs> influences. Yeah, like the old schoolers. Old schoolers. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
do you have a team of people like friends that you work with often to help make? I do. I do. Um, at least if they don't help me make it, they uh, they they critique me with it and tell me where I can go with it, what I can do, how I'm slipping. Mm -hmm. Um, chaos. Um, he's 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 been there since this day one. Uh, the engineer I'm used with, I, I mess with um, Ballhead Kingpin. He's um he's been around since day one. My cousin um uh, twenty. I think you guys one of you think one of you guys um messed around with him. Well, not messed around with him. But talk to him. <laughs> talk to him. Uh, I think I, I know what you're talking about. So okay. Okay. When I, was, okay. when I was putting you into the, the the website, I think I accidentally put his stuff because I was looking at his page because I was following it through yours. So yeah, yeah. 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 So um yeah, I mean it's just a little tight niche group of people, but um. That's about it. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I was messing around with him. <laughs> so what kind of passions do you have outside of music? Ah, life, man. Development, of yeah, course. life, though. Like, it's positivity. Because, I mean, growing up negativity, you know, you, you, you get used to, like, a certain feeling. And that feeling that I was used to, that it just weighed down on me. Like, a uh, weight. Like, you know, I was extra heavy, like another 50, 60 pounds. And it's like, okay, well, I need to shed this 50, 60 pounds. And positivity was the thing to do it. So it's like anything that, you know, I can bring positivity to the, the situation. Hell, I think this year I'm going to try LARPing. Really? Okay. I am, I am, sure, I am. Bro. Just to think outside the box. Because, I All mean, right. there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a... The world, especially the world today, is so open and broad that you don't, you don't have to be like, okay, well, if I do this, I'm going to be looked at a certain way. You know what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want to do, especially now. You know, yeah. so yeah, I want to be a 40 year old LARPer. All right, dude, yeah. Yo, follow, <laughs> follow your dreams. Exactly. Don't let exactly. your dreams be dreams. Exactly. Do it. Exactly. So, I mean. In the famous <clears throat> words of Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> do it. <laughs> uh, so, kind of we're talking uh, passions outside of music, it looks like you uh, you said you have a degree in game mm -hmm. development. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like you also play a lot of video games. Mm -hmm. uh, I was looking through the Instagram, uh, it looks like you have uh, some posts about Animal Crossing, you mm -hmm. even have Magic the Gathering. So, mm -hmm. what kind of games do you do in your free time? You um, do in your free time. Let me just pull them over here. Let's see. <laughs> well, you just named off the two games that I'm playing. Um, okay. Like, I just got the Switch, so I'm, I'm really feeling that. Switch is kind of sad, I like the Switch. Um. Uh, have a, I mean, what, what, I guess, uh, I'm not a first person player, I'm not okay, a first okay. person. That's fine, uh, yeah. Um, I need depth into my games, I like my 40, 50, 60 hour games, um, I need to get back into Final Fantasy 14, um, that's take, that took up a lot of my time, um. You played some of Fallout, have you played Fallout before? No, I haven't, but okay. um, okay. It's, either, it's either Fallout or Skyrim. Skyrim, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm you Skyrim. played Dark Souls? Okay, that no, yes, I have. Okay, but I was going to say, I mentioned Elden Ring to you in the beginning when you walked in the door before. It's about Station yeah, 5. Okay, yeah. There's nothing for the Station 5. It's still in the box. It's still in the box. He hasn't played his PlayStation. <laughs> there's no games to play for. Oh, nothing's good there's enough, apparently. But the Tokyo, the Tokyo. Elden Ring comes up tomorrow. Tokyo um, War, Tokyo Wire. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all do doing the Y'all do it when they doing the uh the Naruto signs to the, the defeat the ghosts? That's on the station Ooh. five. That looks not that I, looks nice. I don't Ghost Shishima. No, 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 Tokyo Live something something something. Oh, no, <laughs> I have not heard of Tokyo Live something something. Yeah, yeah, that, that, I'll have to look it up though. I'm Is still it back a PlayStation on PlayStation exclusive. Yep. Damn it. I was gonna say I'm still back on the PS3, so I just got two controllers for Black Ops Zombies. Yeah, I just right. that's not even that problem. I play on PC. That's all right. That's all right. So yeah, um. I mean, anything that's fun, you know, okay. like, have you ever heard of a game called Katamari Damacy? Mm -mm. No. See, see what I'm saying? So I, I like fun original games. And, all, and the, the premise of that game is um, you rolling up everything in a ball. You start from, like, uh, rolling up thumbtacks and, and oh. feathers and stuff. And okay. you make the ball big to uh, roll up buildings and skyscrapers and, and, okay. and statues and stuff. And it's, just an original fun game. I think you know? I know what you're talking about. I've seen an ad for it. So yeah, yeah. It's just turn your brain off and just okay. Go. have fun. Yeah, yeah. So it okay. varies from some strategy Final Fantasy seven or fourteen <laughs> to, to turning brain off. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. In depth story to no story. Exactly, exactly. It depends on how I feel. Gemini. Every game. Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> Just say you forgot the chicken wire, or you brought the chicken wire. And yeah, forgot I forgot, forgot the yeah, forgot the yeah. Yeah, but I got the chicken wire. <laughs> I still get the job done. Just be kind of oh, sloppy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> if you could headline a concert tonight and pick three artists to open for you, who would they be? Uh, are you asking me all these questions and not I, put you on the spot, man? No, no, my it's job. good. No, it's a good. Yeah, you're doing your job well. Um, ah, 
crud. Um, if that to be my crud. dream. Nobody said that. I don't think that's. I think the new CW. <laughs> crud. 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 You speak my language. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, I don't want to say all I know is is, is old stuff. I, I don't want to say that because I. I Bro, if that's it, then say it. Who else do you want to do a show with? Like, yeah. Dude. This if is, that's who you want to do a show, this is about you, bro. If it's yeah. what you all right, want, all right, do it. All right, all right, all right. Well, then I, I, I already named them. Um, it'll probably be Method Man, Buster Rhymes. Okay, hell yeah. And uh, probably Ghostface. I love his energy. I love Ghostface's Dude, I love energy. Dude, I love show. That's a good lineup. Those are fuck with those. God damn, it's a good lineup. Like Ghostface. Buster Rhymes. Even Buster, but I like Ghostface's because it's... Like Ghostface is, cause it's I mean, Buster's is, is raw too, but Ghostface just sounds like he's gonna just literally slap the shit out you through the speaker. You know, it's just, I love that energy, man. It's just, pow! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Oh shit, I come in peace. I come in peace. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, right, right, right. Yo, no friendly fire. Uh, Jesus. On the real, on the real. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, did you have any specific goals or expectations when you started making music? Nah, I, I think it was more about just seeing if I can do it. Um, there was a couple people I was going to school with who can... Um, I don't want to say I envy people who can like freestyle top of their head and make it sound like really good, but I'm a marinator. I like to write and study what I'm going. Mm -hmm. I, I want to know what I'm going to say so it can be precise. And I just have to focus on bringing that energy when it's time to record it. Yes. As if I want to consider myself an artist, I gotta have that freestyle ability. But um, again, I did it again. What was the question? <laughs> Gemini man, You're right? right? Come on, <laughs> fucking Gemini. <laughs> did you have a specific goal or expectation? No, it was, was more. It was more like right. just just doing it. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep, yep. So now, bring great segue going from Gemini. To my knowledge, the first song you ever released was on SoundCloud, May twenty first, twenty twenty, called Gemini. Yes, sir. Was there anything before that? No. Um, nice. I'll, I'll take that back. Oh, on SoundCloud, he lied no. Oh, on SoundCloud, <laughs> on SoundCloud okay. no. Um, like, like I was saying, I was with my guy on um, Chaos, who was SG, SGK, Spooky G and Chaos, and um, we was working diligently on music. So, like, but it's not on SoundCloud. I mean, I have those C's, okay. but it's not yeah. on SoundCloud. Oh, what is, that's a CD, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's not on SoundCloud. Um, SoundCloud was the first time like I went out myself and. Figure out, man, let's, let's just try it. Let's try Because if I don't try it, I can't say it didn't happen. You know, so at least I'm yeah. trying now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. You only fail if you don't try. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like it's that. That's really all it is. And it's um, nice to kind of leave like a, a trail too of like the songs you've, like, even like, though you don't build have those up. first ones. You gotta yeah, you like, have a backstory. Totally. Like, people can look back and be like, oh, God, he, you know, he. You didn't you didn't suck, but you you definitely like came up and you fucking made your sound and now it sounds amazing. Totally. I, I, you, you know what I mean? You I, tweaked everything. I totally agree with that because um <clears throat> when I came out with the first one, the first project, um, Gangsters Gamblers, Volume One, um I was like okay um I was really feeling myself because you know you have to right yeah uh cameo I'm sure you guys heard of that cameo yeah like uh like the that, the app app the call yep, yep, okay yep. yep I sent my stuff in to Redman to have him critique mm. it okay. Um. <laughs> hey, shout out to Red man. Thank you for for taking care of that, and I appreciate it because I think the second one sounds a lot better than the first one, and I can see the the progress. But he uh looked at the camera and was like, if I was the guy that was ready to put somebody on, it was like this is the guy. This ain't the guy. <laughs> so, Damn, but how he did it though, how he did it was right. it, I, the, how, the way I'm sounding. Yeah, it sound like he, he, he shitted on me, but oh. it was more like you know, this is what you need to do. This yeah. is this is did it. He give this you actual it. criticism though. Yeah, like, did he yeah, have, okay. he gave me like a 10, yeah. 11 minute video. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm like, that's okay. actually good. Okay. Exactly. I thought and, he just came on the video. No, no, I was like, no, nah, this ain't the guy. No, no, no. He he ain't doing shit like that. Five seconds, he's off. Yeah, no, no. It was a good 10 minute video, and um, critiqued the. Critiqued my project, and um, I think I took that and um, put it in volume two. That's you awesome. know, he says um, people want to want to he says when people want to hear bars, they want to hear they want to hear the, the griminess, they want to hear grit, they want to hear ugly. I mean everything. I mean things could be clean and, and pretty and stuff, but nine times out of ten, you're gonna hear somebody throwing dirt on somebody rather than like putting them up just because that's how we are built naturally from um as humans. Yeah. You know, so when you get in there just just get in there and not give a fuck yeah, who you man. who you not don't want to say you offending people, but just do you. 
you yeah, know, and yourself, yeah, yeah, Don't that that was one of the things right away, yeah. that I took to heart from Red Man. So thank you, Red Man. Shout Thank out to you, Red Man. Man. Dude, that's cool that you were able to have him listen to your first project. That is cool. Yeah. Through Cameo, too. Yeah, right? I think that's hilarious. You yeah, just, right? You scammed him. You paid him, what, 60 bucks or something to listen to it? Actually, no, no. It, it, was, it was a 150. Oh, okay, okay. But okay. now I think I think it's because of me, so my bad. If it is because of me, and my bad, my bad. Now he can do that. He has a, 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 it's a, it's a spot where you can get your shit listened to, but he's going to he's gonna take a month, and it's $600. Oh, so he fucking, he was like, oh, somebody's gonna sue me for this. He's like, yo, I see the first album for fucking 150, I see like $600. Yeah. He yeah. must have like kept up with you and like, so like, oh, damn, he learned from what I said. All right, shit, yeah, people, so it's worth it. it. Yeah, it's yeah. worth it. So in a couple months or a couple weeks, I've been saying it for the past year. You definitely Money. should post that. Miss Miss Lady Moore says you should post that. I, I think you should 100% post that camera. The, 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 the red the man video? Yeah. Yes. I 100% think you, that'd be a great social media I'll post. think about it, I'll think about it. That's a cool number to share, but yeah, I mean, I, I get the, the, like, opening up to that side. Yeah, and then that's You like, can always edit it, too, to take that part away. That, too, but, like, you know, as an artist, that's, that's, that builds you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So some shit happening. Like, man, I don't know why I'm fucking around with this music. Oh, what's on this phone, man? What's on this phone? Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's go. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so it's, like, one of those things, but I'll take it into consideration. Okay, okay. all right. I mean, you gotta put it out there if you it's, ever want. That's yeah, another, totally, that's another totally, thing totally. that people can go look back on. Though, one of those building blocks. So that's I, I, agree, I think I that's agree. always a good thing I to agree. document. You know what I mean? I agree. Um, yeah. So then June eighteenth, mm -hmm. twenty twenty, came out your first. That's your pr birthday. Uh, birthday, of course. Yeah, he has a significance with his birthday. He drops on his birthday. That's say, why. Well, why can't you? You know, it's I mean, your day. No, go for it. It's yeah, your Nobody's day. Camp, right? I know. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's your day. You yeah. know. I'm like, oh, okay. what are you gonna do for your birthday? Oh, I ain't do shit. I'm but yeah, that I, fucking oh, project. Exactly. Exactly. I'm Turn up. You know what? That's funny, though. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. But and then and then my fault, Doctor. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I know too. You know, with how music is supposed to be put out. So especially with artists like us, we're supposed to be consistent with with the music, consistent with the work. And I think that's one thing I do need to work on instead of putting that's out. That's still a, technically consistent, though. A ten, ten tracks every same, every year. Yeah, on the same day. That's pretty. I'd say that's consistent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it a does, slow consistency, okay. but it's yeah, consistent. Yeah, I would say it's a slower consistency. Yeah. yeah. It's still, I mean, as long as you have like the by next year, I have. Do you have another time. date that's significant to you that you could start posting on? I got a couple, but. Then I would say I would say keep going off not, of that. You yeah. can keep like going off of that stuff. Like if somebody else's birthday or a significant date, like steal I don't know. somebody's birthday from them. Well, like, this is my project. <laughs> <laughs> like you go to their birthday party and you're just like, advertising. <laughs> oh, I got CDs, 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 what's up? What's a CD? And, 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 <laughs> for, for their birthday, you got them the CD. You got them like a bunch of stuff for their birthday. That's a merch. It's a merch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how you fucking do it right there, boys and girls. Oh, man. Uh, but you came up with Gangsters and Gamers and Everyone in Between, Volume 1. And this EP has tracks like Intro, Wave, I think featuring 20, right? It's not mm -hmm, Wave mm -hmm. 20, right? Okay, yeah. I just, the way Wave I read it on. Um, Gemini, IFLC, Rock Lee, The Hood, Bar for Bar, Hot Keys, On My Way, and Last Blunt. Now, what does IFLC stand for? I feel like creeping. I feel oh, like creeping. Interesting. Okay. Spook G, he feels like creeping. I feel that. Mm -hmm. Creepy Spook G. Creepy mm -hmm. Spook G. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that sounds I don't know bad. Like, yeah. yeah, that was. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> no worries. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I get where you go, <laughs> but it's all good. So pick like three of these songs. Talk about them a little bit if you can. All right. Um, I start from the last one, the last blunt. Um, that track. I don't know if you can hear it. There's um some Naruto ness going on in there, and um. Uh, no, yeah, some Nar Naruto that's going on in there. Um, it's a it's a villain that's going on in there. Uh, the beat, Jeez Louise. Actually, let's go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Uh, on my way. Okay. On my way. On my way. On my way. On my way. That's that's a, that's a better one. Um, I needed I needed a softer, lighter track for the for the project. Um, I needed to talk about uh, how this guy's on his way to see his girl. Um. How she's good, like the some good bud, you know. My okay, mother okay. was like, "Hey, I got that good bud. You know, you're on your way. That's you know, awesome. you're yeah, gonna yeah. get it. You know, <laughs> so um, that's what that came. Ten miles in the snow on a bike. All right, yeah, I'm away. I'm away. Hold Last fifty. <laughs> yeah. I'm away. I give you sixty for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, so yeah, that's what that was. Um, let's see, Gemini. Obviously, um, I'm trying to represent for the Gemini's. That was my first, I guess, single from the project. Um. I just want to keep it real Gemini, real Gemini. 
And um Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. <laughs> uh no, I guess I go back to the last one. I've been rumbling off about it. Um that's probably the longest track. I think that was the one I was like, man, I really want to go bars. I really want to go bars heavy on it. Because, again, I'm not good with courses, but I really want to go bars heavy on the last one, and that would be a good segue into the second one. Mm. So talking about the last one, there's some reverse vocals in it as yes, well. Yes, it is. Is there any significance to those reverse vocals? Nah, it's just, me, Damn. It's, just, it's just me saying the, the chorus again and backwards. Uh, oh, see, yeah. I kind of okay. thought okay. that because it went really well into the chorus yeah. when, you, when it came back in. So I kind of assumed that, but I was like, I, I, I might as well ask. You know, if she, I, 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 maybe for G to the third degree, I'll bring that back and probably put some, I don't want to put nothing demonic in it, you know, that my mom's like, demonic. what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, but, but still, but something. Be something significant, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Give them a little Easter egg. Like, like, give them some words yeah, of wisdom that they can, if they're looking into your music, they can replay it back. I'm all about giving wisdom, wisdom, too. Wisdom. That's how you grow. I'm all exactly. about giving wisdom. Um, so what inspired you at this time, you know, making this EP? The third one? No. Nope. Uh, the first one. The first, first one. Yep. The vo volume one. Yep. Gangsta. What? The whole EP. I whole came up with Gemini. I was okay. I'm really like a Gemini. Oh, and by the way, um, I don't think any of those are like mixed. I think I was just so excited, and my birthday <laughs> Wait, was right around the corner. Yeah. Number. I think none they of them are mixed. Kind of mixed. On my way wasn't mixed. That's maybe on my way, maybe okay, on my way is mixed. Like that one sounded but, pretty good. Like, but, one yeah, sound I, I could have put, I could have put a lot more okay. time into okay. each track. Okay, but, but you want that shit out on your. I'm birth. sorry. Yeah, not I, but the work could have put more, more work could have been done on each track. Um, we made Gemini. Listen to it. Listen to it. Listen to it. Made another track. Listen to it. Listen to it. And I got like five tracks in. It was like, that's almost like you know a little project. You know, let's just keep it going. Put more tracks in it and bundled it together. Sound good. Put it out. Rare Man was like, nope. Back, no. to, the, <laughs> back to the drawing board. <laughs> hey, man. Well, Rare Man says, go with you, though. <laughs> Just shattered everything right there. <laughs> you thought you had this great project the other man. Hey, man, that ain't it. <laughs> but like I said, I appreciate the, the, the realness to him. I'm not, I, if I sat here and was like, man, that shit didn't hurt. The first week, of receiving Yikes. that, yeah, yeah, that hurt. I don't doubt that it. That hurt, because I'm like, man, what if I cut the project in six, instead of it being 10, it'd be four. Nah, man, just be me, man. It's, it's out there. It ain't no, yes. ain't no do-overs. No. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no do-overs, and you don't be ashamed. It's more like how you said, the growth. Be you. Yes, exactly. The growth, and that's why I'm I, now I'm coming out with the third one. Halfway done with it, I can go back and listen to the first one, listen to it, the second one, listen to it. I'm like, okay, I grew a lot. I grew exactly, up this, exactly. I'm very excited about this. Helps keep you so, inspired too. That yeah, shows yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you came from. Yeah, yeah, totally. So I'm very excited about this third one. Now I do want to ask because well. you uh, mentioned you made Gemini first. That was mm -hmm. the first song that kind of sparked off that project. Uh, do you have a strong belief in astrology, and do you think it impacts your life in some sort of way? I have a strong belief. I believe in it. I believe there's a lot. Um, there's a lot. Of, it, it unfolds a lot. Um, that sounds It's so like an onion with a lot of layers. Yeah, a lot of layers. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I think there's a lot of um, teachings to be taught in it. I think uh, everything happens for a reason. And that, that, you know, those things that you're like, oh, why did this happen? Maybe you should look into that astrology, you know, because, I mean, well, we have four different birthdays here, you know, and that's four different signs, you know, yeah, cool. four different. Well, we're two, we're both Scorpios. So but then you have the to break it down. The, exactly. The, well, yeah, there's like there's, you get a combo of three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's so. weird. Like I, I'm still my girlfriend's kind of dabbling me into okay. this too, so I'm learning a little bit. So I was just kind of curious what like oh how far you took NFT it. stocks <laughs> and astrology. Now it's gonna be what astrology, astrology, <laughs> astrology, whatever. You you, you dabble in NFT? So I'm bad yeah. at showing emotions. Oh, yeah. but I'm over. If you want to talk about yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking for somebody to talk to. Yeah, because I know nothing. But um. Talk to the stars, okay? <laughs> Talk to the stars, Jacob. I am. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it's, it, it helps. It helps, especially okay. knowing at least you. You know, you don't have to apply to everybody else, but just knowing you, where, 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 where how you can get comfortable in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. it's those little quirk, quirks that you don't understand why you do. There it is, yeah. you know? So. Okay, that, could be, that definitely could be it. So what was your favorite song to make up the first EP? Probably on my way. 
I, I, I stepped out of my, my, my bar for bar, rah, 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 kind of <laughs> kind of mode to, to do that one. Oh man, so, oh, we have cats in the chat. I, I know, I'm sorry. I, I, I can only be me. <laughs> 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 but I think I think um on my way because I have to step out out, out the box and do something creative. Creative. Swear to God, every every single one of these interviews gets better each and every time. It's good. Like every it does. Yeah, good. Good. It's good. That's amazing. that's the growth, right? It is. Oh yeah. Uh, so, do you have any stories or something that may have happened during the making of the CP that you that you could fill us in? Maybe uh, some kind of the red man. Yeah, 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 just the red Okay, I guess that, that is, is the one. Pretty dope. I guess yeah, that is the one. Okay, that's okay, the one, man. okay. So, uh, and, and it's not like it's a story because I have the video. It's an experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so it's not like I'm just bullshitting. You know, I didn't really mean like a fictional story, anyways. But um, so what kind of music do you remember listening to as a kid? Did it help inspire you on this journey? All right, I'll go there. Um, yeah, you better go there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my grandma, my grandma and my mom, they were uh, heavy into um, um, education. Education, education, education. And, um, okay. So I got a lot of uh, Sesame Street. I got a lot of... Um, reading Rainbow. Reading Rainbow. Yeah, it's my shit class. Got, uh, yeah, 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 I got a lot of all that. You gotta sample that. that. I got a lot of all that. Um, <laughs> Mr. Rogers. Mm, okay. You know? Like the PBS. Blues Clues. PBS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. PB, PBS. Yeah, PBS. Uh, what um, is that other one where there was like. They like went through time and shit and they learned oh, math. The bus? And it was like. No, not the bus. Cyber Chase. Not Frizzle. Yeah, Cyber Chase. Cyber Chase. Ah, yeah. I love Cyber Chase. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm taking this way off the topic. <laughs> Amazing nostalgia. The last episode of Arthur is airing this week. <laughs> the season finale. Like they're done with it. So Damn. 25 That's no, interesting. Yeah. That is I didn't interesting. Even, didn't know it was still going. I, I kind of fell out of watching, I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but still. How do they still have stuff to even talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Just to be with what a job, like, some old crib, like, yeah, yeah. a couple tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, really, they're really growing up. Arthur started making rap music now. Right. Yeah. Oh, my. Chester's doing the vocals and mixing stuff. Buster. Or Buster. Right. Chester. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. I, I, I knew he was like a rabbit of some sort, so I thought Chester. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But anyways, yeah, you're listening to Sesame Street and all yeah, that. Yeah, just shows. um, just a lot of educational stuff, and um, you know, growing up with the with the with the with the music being played and stuff, you know, Temptations. Oh, a lot of old school stuff that my mom and dad listened to. Um, yeah, my uncle used to mess around with. My uncle used to mess around with the music. Um, my uncle Lance, and uh, yeah, just family members. Yeah. Kept the kept the torch going. Yeah, yeah. Just the oldies again. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Old, totally, yeah. totally. I mean, my uncle, my uncle Lance, he played he played the saxophone. My uncle Ooh, Ed, I like the saxophone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my god, yeah. I love the saxophone. Yeah, so and uh, my uncle Ed, he was um, a trick of the, um, a master of all trades. Uh, mm, okay. Keyboard, saxophone, here and there. Could pick like it that. up and play it. Kind yeah, of yeah, 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 awesome. yeah, yeah. So that was strong in my in my family, and um, kept it going, I guess. Do you yourself? Play any instruments? No, I'm, no, the, okay. I'm the instrument. Okay. Mm. You're the instrument. <laughs> <laughs> so what did uh what did your first ever setup look like? Like your DAW, your equipment, the microphone, <laughs> table, and how big was the closet? <laughs> um, nah, man, it wasn't nothing like that. Um, it was studio. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but um, no, I don't was, ask it. It's a closet. <laughs> it was the Sago. Um, it was it was it was it was high school, and um, somebody gave me this uh, number. Uh, address and a name. Oh, right. okay. Dee Sago. Yup, Dee Sago. What is this? Uh, studio. Nice studio. Oh, charger. Damn, I gotta get a job. <laughs> you know, I gotta get money. Uh, mm, let's just focus on writing. So it was more like writing, 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 and saving up for studio time. Then Dee Sago would tell me, you know, well, I need you to have your vocals legit because, you know, you're paying for this and, you know, you wasting your time, you wasting my time. That's not good. You know, let's get it done, you know, then all oh, my days, that first session was horrible, oh, man. man. Yeah, man. No, it was bad, bro. Stutter, 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 stutter. Oh, it's like, I'm writing these lyrics. How am I stuttering my lyrics? <laughs> anyway. Um, he at least, was he at least understanding? Was he was, cool? he oh, was, right, he right, was. Right, and that's right, probably right. why I still mess with him today because, I mean, he showed me, you know, a better way. And I have to, I have to show him love back, so. Oh, yeah. No, no booth or no um closet. No. You didn't even rig. have no equipment. You went to a studio yeah. I went first. to a studio first, but it was just like I had to get a job to get the money to get go to the studio. studio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to ask you here about Cookie Monster. 
<laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> well, it, it's, it's more of a, um, well, like I said, Sesame Street. Yeah. You know, boy, blue, girl, pink, you know, from that era. And, um, yeah, Cookie Monster, man. Who doesn't like Cookie Monster? You know? yeah. he, he doesn't, he doesn't speak 100% English. You have to cipher what he's saying, you know. Oh, he cookies. And those eyes are just fucking everywhere, <laughs> man. <laughs> right? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. He's 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 one of the family. He's one of the one, one of the goats. One okay. of the goats. That's your biggest inspiration right there, cookie. Yeah, monster. cookie that that wildness. Uh, rah, 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 I'm eating everything in this <laughs> 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 Okay, yeah, sounds good, sounds good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so uh, you did go to school for uh, game development. I did, sir. Did you always want to be a game developer, or was it something you maybe just chose? No, I knew I, it was always a love. I know I knew like the music will wash the hand of the games, and then vice versa, they will co coexist with each other. Um, it just didn't know how to get in there, you know. And I wish, no, I wouldn't say that. If somebody would have like you know installed programming or installed like how important that is i know i probably would have took it to heart then to apply it to game development now but um yeah programming is a motherfucker <laughs> yeah i don't know much of game development but like what do you I, use it um i know html css and a handful of java okay, um, okay i was okay. trying to dabble in php but like yeah, gaming was one thing i was looking at but i was like it's a whole other piece. yeah that's a whole, i used to try C++. to script plus. on roblox <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a start. I mean, it did work out. It was well, honestly I fun. I used to like. I used to like doing it on Roblox. It's <laughs> nice. kind of fun. But like, it kind of. It was one of those things where it's like I was working on programming. I made a couple website things, and it was mm -hmm. like CW Hip Hop became a website. So now I kind of transferred over mm -hmm, with that. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you're kind of looking, I guess, to get back into some of that game. I right? am. I am because, like I said, I don't want to get the piece of paper and have it just collecting dust. You know, I kind of want to use it. Yeah. You know, but the start was to get it. And I, excuse me, that was pretty hard to do, especially. Um, I mean, in the ways of the world, you know, you don't, you don't, you feel like when you, when you feel like you're not doing good or you're not, you're not going good, when you feel like you're not doing well, you kind of like, you know, diminish your, your confidence. It's yeah. like, oh, I'm mean, just stop fucking around. I'm just stop fucking around. So to finish it, granted, it took me another year, year and a half than they said, but I finished it and that felt good. You know, now it's just like using it. So mm -hmm. it makes it that much better, you know, so. And you said uh, you wanted to get back into making the games. Do you have a dr uh, a dream style of game that you would want to build? Is there like a... <clears throat> no, but I... Well, actually, yeah, I do. Um, I would like to, like, make the game maybe 75, 80% myself and then give it to the team to finish it, put the bells and whistles on it. Well, what the, kind of game? Yeah, like, like genre RPG. kind of game. Yeah, like yeah, strategy. Game, yeah. Some of the mindless stuff you can just turn off and just kind of go. Those would... Those, those mindless stuff will generate the money to make... The major stuff. Mm, okay. So mm, interesting. That's a good way of looking at it. I mean, yeah, I dab in a little bit of everything, you know. I have to, I have to. You can't. I mean, you stay in your one lane till you you know that you're good at it. Then you can switch lanes. So if you had enough money to build whatever game you wanted to tomorrow, what would the what would the genre of the game be? Probably a mix of a fighter and an action. Mm, okay. I like my fighters. I like choreography. Like I a like, like a like a third person fighter. Or like a Street Fighter, or like what kind okay, of? Okay, how about this? Maybe like a uh, action, uh, uh, action game where you um, have one objective, but you go through these stages, and the state, uh, the boss, it turns into like a fighting, a fighter. Mm. So then you will, um, I don't know, you so like fight an adventure, power. Game? yeah, like an RPG? adventure fighter, okay. an adventure fighter. Yeah, okay. you didn't by chance ever play Scott Pilgrim vs. the World video <laughs> game. I have. So, oh my gosh! I will, go, I will go with the two D sprites okay. because because you can do more with it. You can do. I mean, the three Ds are good, but it takes no memory to, to work a 2D sprite. You know, it kind of takes memory to work with a 3D model. Yeah. You know, so I would totally go 2D. Okay. Totally. Hell, that, everything's going back to 2D. Talking about 2D. Uh, <laughs> sure, you know, I saw on your Instagram a uh, long ass time ago, uh, like a 2D little game you were making with yep. zombies. Yep, yep, what, that's did, what I was Did it. that game have a name? No, at all? it didn't have a name. Um, I know what I want to do with it. <clears throat> I was working at a, um, <laughs> I was working at a grocery store at the time, and uh, that's what I was kind of basing it on. Um, okay. Your, your okay. first day at the grocery store, <laughs> okay. uh, the zombies are trying to attack you with this like a uh, fruit or whatever. It'd be like a fruit bubble, and you get the fruit from the table, and you throw it at the zombie to eliminate the zombie. But if you throw the wrong fruit, you know you get bit or oh. something like that. Oh. Okay. You know, and then there's like eight levels, you know, your boss levels and stuff like that. Okay. 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 Was that on your own or for like? Yeah, I was on my own. Oh, okay. Cool. So, have you ever performed before? 
No. No. Uh, I take that back. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 40. I'm almost 40. Um, <laughs> He's I have, yeah, right? I have, I have, but it was with SGK. It was, it was before I did my solo thing. Okay, mm, so. okay. So what's SGK? SGK was Spooky G and Chaos. Oh, um, got you. It was like a duo group. Yep. yep got yep. you. Okay. That's how we Makes got sense. Foot, foot wet. Do you have like a process making music? Do you have like a process you go through? Mm, I suppose, yeah. I have to have, um, it's usually on a Sunday. That's when I have nothing going on. No work, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing. I can wake up at four in the morning and just work over music. And now, um, listen to beats, listen to beats. How do I feel? Um, I might get a, man, listen to beats. How do I feel? How do I feel? How do I feel? Um, by, what is it, four? By like six, if I really don't feel anything new, then I work with something old. I don't, I don't try not to waste that energy. I just... Don't force it. No, I, and I, I don't I try not to force it either. Yeah, so, but I do want to do something with it. So I at least try and do it on Sundays. That way by Tuesday, I'll be like, what was I working on? Oh yeah, but I can't wait to get back to it till Sunday. And then just go from there. So that's your only day you, you work on music really, Sunday? Yeah. Okay. I, just, uh, I build okay. up the energy. Is it like you sit down in a room and you do it, or like sometimes you go for a drive and just play the beat and kind of like? No, nah, I'm in the room. Um, okay. I call it. I call it. I call it the booth, but it's not a booth. It's just I, a chair. Yeah. Or, yeah. 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 Just do whatever. Yeah. Bro, yeah. whatever. It's your booth. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. all it is. So yeah. It's all, it's that's all that matters. State of mind. It's state is in. And right. How do I feel? What is? What does this go with? Do I really feel like all that energy? Maybe at the end of the song, maybe at the middle of the song. Oh shit, you suck at choruses, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it, it's but it's all fun, you know. Exactly. You always gotta exercise the brain. Of course, I agree with that. So who is uh, Ross Soul? Ross Soul, the my California is because connect. you feature in his or in their song mm -hmm. "Hear No, Speak No" or "See No, Speak No" mm -hmm. in 2021. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's, that, who's that guy? Russell, um, I found him, found, we connected through, uh, my guy B. Trejo, which he helped me, <laughs> when we, um, get that, um, get that degree, so thank you again, B. Trejo, <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's, that's one of his friends, and he messes with music, uh, he was coming out with a project, and the, I guess I do have a funny story about that, nice. he says, um, hey, Smoke, man, I want you on this project, I want you on this project, all right, cool, and I felt bad because he wanted me on, on another project before, but just never got around to it. So I'm definitely gonna get on this one. I'm definitely gonna get on this one. It took me a minute to get with the beat, but then I love the beat because it's so original. So I lay down two verses. He can pick whichever one he wants. <laughs> he um lays down his verse and sends it back, and I'm listening. I'm like yeah, yeah, my verse is pretty sick. His verse is sick, but it's clean. I don't understand why it's clean. So I hit him up. Like you're not swinging this. Yeah, I'm going for like more of a Christian vibe. So I wish you would have told me I would have wrote a clean verse. <laughs> I would have loved the challenge for a clean verse. He said, nah, man, don't worry. I wanted you to do you. Like, but I understand that, but it kind of throws off the song, yeah, you not know? Christian, yeah, exactly. well, not, not Christian, just clean. Clean, yeah. yeah. It throws off the song, dropping F-bombs and fuck you and I'm doing this shit. And he's like, you know... Oh man, you didn't know. I messed it up. I messed it up. You but fucked up. Yeah, yeah, you, you blew it. You blew it. But, uh, <laughs> but um, he, he liked it, and you know, it was it's all good. It's all good. That's good. I'm glad that he liked it. It was a good song. Yeah. Thanks. thanks. One thing I'll say, uh, you wanted to work with Jedi. Uh, and he kind of has that too, where he doesn't swear at all in there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Going to mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Like that'd be your You'll get that mm -hmm. challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, what's a daily positive habit that you have to make sure you have a good day every day? Something you do that's just positive that you do every day it could be making your bed, eating a certain food, meditating, going outside, going for whatever it is. Just being blessed, being thankful that I'm blessed, cause it could be a lot worse. Just being thankful. Yeah, it could be it could be a lot worse. You know, you know, you got homeless people out there who really want to rap but don't have a phone to put bars on. You know, you got people with disabilities who who know they can do the just same job that people with no disabilities are doing, but they look that different because they have disabilities. You know, it's just, it's, the world could be so unfair right now that I have to sit back and be like, you know what, I'm thankful that I woke up, I'm thankful I got a job, I'm thankful I can pay my bills, I'm thankful I got this hobby. You know, I'm thankful that y'all let me come up here to take care of this, I'm thankful I got this mic in front of me so these people can know SG the first, you know, it's, just, it's those little things, you know, so exactly. that's what I take pride in, the little things that I like that answer. Happen. 
It's a very good answer. So, uh, what does a day in the life of SG the first look like? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? Well, you know what I mean? What did you do today? I <laughs> worked like, today. Up, I, I, I like, worked okay, today. What do you do for work? What's going on? Oh, okay, my well, phone, my phone. Um, give, I worked six day. days a week. I worked six days a week. Um, recycle technician. Like I said, not a, not a, not a, not a trash guy. I'm a recycle technician. I make sure there's a difference. Different. There is a difference. <laughs> there is a difference. I recycle to make sure it gets used again. Trash just oh, gets okay. thrown away. Yeah, yeah. No, you I know? do want to ask on this because I was going through your Instagram. You find a lot of cool things in that. What, what's oh yeah, I saw some of that stuff. You found like a bunch of old retro consoles, bro. Yeah. That was dope. Give me one. Give me three. What's some of the cool things you found on the job? Because I was kind of curious. Man, about that. I've been at the job for almost like on and off for ten years, so oh, okay. it's not like you know, man, this thing, thing, this, yeah. this motherfucker was like, no, it, it's, it's <laughs> always a bunch of things. Um, we'll get. Oh, this is sad to say. Okay, so we're a recycling company, Resource Solutions. We're a recycling company. Shout out um, Resource Solutions. And um, you know, we deal with. All types of things. Um, we might deal with uh, somebody cleaning up a house because a couple passed, like, um, in, not instantly, but unexpected. Yeah. Unexpected. Unexpected. Yeah. 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 unexpected. Yeah, unexpected. Yeah. Unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> they just combusted. <laughs> <laughs> well, gotta get rid of them. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, they have to clean up the house, but you know, nobody wants their stuff, so they'll just get a dumpster and just throw everything in a dumpster. Okay, well, you take out what you need. You know, we charge for bulbs and all that stuff. We we'll bill them for what it is, but it gets taken care of rather than it gets taken care of rather than in the trash where it hurts the environment, where it hurts the planet, yeah. mm -hmm. where it hurts the birds and all this shit. You know, so we do our job um, in the day of life of, of SG the first work six days a week um, and just try and stay happy. Try and stay happy. I say that yeah. because that's a job in itself. Yeah. Yeah, facts, when I tell people I'm busy, that's what I'm doing. No, I'm trying to stay happy. Yeah. Leave me alone. I'm working on me, goddamn it. That's why I'm message. busy, you motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I, I totally feel that. Now, you kind of been working on your third third uh, album here. Do you think you found your sound? Or are you still discovering I think, it? I think I'm still looking for it. I like where this sound is going. Um, I didn't think I was going to be an aggressor. Cause I don't want to offend, but to each his own, you know, as, as long as I'm not saying, you know, Hey, that dude over there, he's a jerk, you know, and I'm just talking stuff about him. Then, you know, it should be okay. You know? So I, I think I'm gonna go with this aggressiveness. It's, 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 it's working. It's working. Plus the beard. Yeah. Rap. Uh, Plus the beard. <laughs> Plus the beard. That's what ties it all together. Ah, yeah. nah. These motherfuckers are twins right now. I didn't even look at that. What the fuck? I didn't even look. Literally the same beard. Right. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's yeah. fucking. That's awesome. I love that. I love that. I didn't even notice that till now. <laughs> Oh, man. So, the aggressive stuff is fun to make. It, it is. It is. It is. Because it, it lets stuff out. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was going to go with. You, know, you get that adrenaline to, to just get it out there. Just. Yeah, yeah. Music is a good album. Yeah. So it is. You, it is. You want to put that aggression out, but not in a bad way. So the song's the right way to capture it. It's true. Thanks. I agree. I agree. So what does uh, what does the current studio setup look like? Is it still uh, the it's studio? It's still the same. It's, it's still, still the same. same. It's still the same. Um, he's doing things. There's, um, He's always making music. He's always... Pushing the envelope for uh, Wisconsin, which is great. Um, still the same vibe, just positive. Maybe we might rearrange the the squishy things uh, for a different the pattern. Yeah, the form yeah. <laughs> for, for a different pattern, but same setup. I mean, I, he, and he knows what he's doing when it comes to upgrading his machine. I mean, he lets us know what's happening, but he knows his mics. You know, he knows what what mixing boards he's using. He he's doing what, his job, doing exactly. What he's that's doing. All, exactly, exactly. That's all you need right exactly. there. So you mentioned that 20 is your cousin, right? Yes, sir. So how long has he been making music? I see he's been featuring on a lot of your music. Does Have you guys been making music together for a while? We have not. Um, he inspired me. He was another like kick that I needed in my ass to get the mic going again. Okay. After I graduated and shit, he gave me one of his CDs. And like, man, I miss the creativeness of starting with a piece of paper. Stirring nothing into something. Yeah, I miss I that. I love doing that. I miss shit. that. So he inspired me to do that again, but, um, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Who's 20? My cousin. Right? So a whole year later from volume one, you then drop volume two of Gangsters, Gamers, 
and everyone in between. Mm -hmm. What made you make a prequel to your first EP? Why 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 did you start with the volumes? It wasn't gonna be a volume. I did. The Red Man made me do that. Mm. It was just gonna be that one, and I'm like, man, I, I, oh, I feel like I need to. You need some redemption. Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Two. Two. All right. But three is gonna be the last. Did you send that one to Red Man? Nope. Not yet. <laughs> not <laughs> yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Trying to get that six hundred dollar mark. <laughs> I kind of fucked myself on that one. <laughs> so it's tracks like "Fuck with Me," "IDFWU," which I don't fuck with you, I assume. Yep. Um, extra credit, a quick chat, my indie icky, my indie icky, like water, lessons, well fed, slow fall, and the last ride. Can you pick three of these songs and just tell tell the listener a little bit about them. Sure, um, I'll go with a uh, quick chat first. That was um, that's to my mom. <clears throat> I want to get a um, get a video video done with her, so um, yeah, so I can have some visuals to that song. Um, I know it's probably. The I don't want to say lowest energy of the of the of the project, but that's a very meaningful song to me. So okay. I want to get that going. Um, well, uh, fuck with me was the um, follow up to after you the blunt. See, I'm what that mess my trying I know. Oh, sorry. The word fuck with me was the uh, the follow up to uh, the final blunt. Um, that's why there's the uh, this one goes out to everybody. You don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. After that red man thing, because he told me, you know, get mad, show that aggression, you know. So this is this is my aggression party. Um, granted, it's the longest track, but I did a couple of different styles in that track that I'm really kind of proud of in that one. Um, and my last track, probably the one with twenty, um, the last ride, because. Again, he's one of those MCs that I kind of envy. He he sound well. He's yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. He has the elements of like the perfect sound of for an MC, and he can flip it. If it's going left, he'll flip it left. If it's going right, he'll flip it right. And I don't have that. I'm a marinator. I love being a marinator, but sometimes it's, it's nice being the other motherfucker. You know. <laughs> the other motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he is that. So that last track is is it's a banger. That's good. All right. Uh, so then, what would you say was your favorite? Was was that your favorite song to make then too? The the last ride. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, so you consider yourself a gamer. What kind of games do you play, and how how many hours do you spend playing these games? Uh, I go from uh, consoles to um, you know, the phones and whatnot, the desktops. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing too big. Um, I always wanted to play Magic when I was growing up, but um, with the crowd I was messing with, we wasn't collecting cards or you know doing nothing like that. So now they have the online game. So you know, COVID at the crib, get a couple hours of um Magic in. Um, like I said, Final Fantasy VII, Street Fighter, Tekken. Uh, I'm waiting for that new uh, King of Fighters. Is the King of Fighters that's gonna be coming out on the PlayStation Five? It's a three on three, three on three fighter. Okay. That I'm waiting for that that should be pretty good. Play, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess my ultimate will be Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom three. That was oh, 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 so many hours. <laughs> um, and then Skyrim, I found that I was going to the college and skipped in so many classes, <laughs> so much work that didn't Skyrim get done. Is man, so man, much work. Man. There's Skyrim, so much shit in Skyrim. Man, bro. that'll do it. That game is so broken too. Though. <laughs> That's all right. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's so broken. <laughs> But yeah, it's, 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 it varies, it's, it varies. You're gonna say a couple hundred in each of those bigger ones, or even? Yeah, yeah, closet? yeah, mm, probably um, Persona 4 Golden, like maybe 350, 350 dollars. Okay, hell yeah. That's a pretty decent Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That's what's up. All right. So you're also an anime fan, what would you say your favorite anime is? Uh, typical boy stuff, Dragon Ball and uh, Naruto, I mean, there's some Death Note in there. I do need to start One Piece because that's a thousand episodes. No, you don't. You don't need to start. I hear you I need, need to, to man. No, no, you don't. You don't. Why? <laughs> it's not. A, it's not worth it. A thousand. It's not worth it. So what? Do, what do you watch? Naruto. Uh, uh, Typical boy Shaman, shit. Shaman King was on Netflix. That's a really good okay, Netflix okay. original. I was watching that. Fucking love that shit. Um, there's another like Eden. Eden something. Uh, 
you know, Death Note, you got Attack on Titan, you got Attack on Titan Rag- one. Ragnarok. Oh, Record of Ragnarok was a really oh, okay, good okay, one. Okay, God okay. damn, that was really, Tokyo really Ghoul's good. Tokyo Ghoul's another one. Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could go on and on about yeah, anime. Yeah, this man is bigger than anime. I love anime. But, but no, no, no One Piece. Yeah, you don't... It's not worth it. I tried. Give him a quick pitch of why he shouldn't watch it. Boring <laughs> as fuck. Slow as fuck in the beginning, which most animes are, but it doesn't pick it up doesn't pick as up. fast. No. The fights are kind of dope, I guess, but not really like Naruto dope. I'm okay. not going to lie, so it's not, again, not <laughs> worth it. <laughs> so would you um, watch, would you watch? it also has way too many fillers. Mm. Okay. Way too many fillers. So would you watch, uh, 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 damn it, Bleach or One Piece? Bleach. Bleach? I've watched Bleach. I like Bleach. Would you watch GT or One Piece? GT. What's GT? Dragon Ball GT. Oh, Dragon Ball GT. Yeah. I don't know if I like GT that much. I don't. Though. I didn't. Yeah. That's why I asked so you. So regular that. Dragon Ball, I take over. Yeah. Sure. No, no, GT or One Piece. <laughs> Neither. Then at that point, I'm just <laughs> one, going to sleep. One, no, I'm just one, gonna go to sleep. Turn the TV one, one. One. Hey, and Dragon two, Ball. Okay. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> there's cool fights in it. Yeah. I'll just skip to, to the cool fights. Okay, four okay. episodes after they're done transforming. Okay. 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 So. It was did there, suck. <laughs> it, 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 it's horrible. But you gotta understand though too. Do you like the backstory? Yeah. Like the, but you know, he bring, he bring, he gives him he gives him no no. I'm sorry, uh, Akiri Toyama, the creator, okay. gives his team, you know, the licenses to mess with it. And he don't want to mess with it. So he's like, okay, you guys do what you do, and that's what they came up with, which I understand, but it wasn't. It wasn't up to par. Nah, it wasn't. Nah. And then we <laughs> did the evolution thing. Oh my days! But because of evolution, <laughs> <laughs> but because of evolution, we got super. So it kind of works. Super. Out. I don't even like super that much, though. It's a bit. Oh, what I'm trying. It's, it's, it's a good. It's a good. It's a good. Uh, what I'm saying. Bridge for Z yep. to super. Yep. I guess that's what I'm looking for. Is okay. like how you're gonna make it fit? You know. But now everybody's ultra power, and so I, I kind of get what you're saying. Fucking idea. Yeah. yeah I get <laughs> but again, that's the only. That's I guess that's the only beef I have with Dragon Ball Z. Is that but it now takes five it's five episodes like, for the st- fight to start because everybody's leveling up and. <gasps> Just the whole time. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, and then we'll jump off. But now, what do you think they're gonna do? Because they had, they was gonna bring it back. Okay. But the uh, voice actor for Boma passed. Mm. So now it's kind of in limbo. They're just gonna have to die in that. Yeah, they're just gonna have to just leave it to kill him off movie. somehow. You think? Maybe. I mean, if the voice actor died, I feel like if I was writing a movie or something like that, if somebody with the cast died, it's like, well, let's just let's try to make it kind I mean, of real. Could you just send him off on a long journey where they I don't know. come back? Well, that, I mean, like, or if you want to send him, sure, like, if you want to do that too. Well, yeah. Bomo being Vegeta's wife, you know, that's that's a big character, yeah. like, side character. So it, it's, I got to ask you about Dragon Ball Z uh, abridged, apparently. That's that. you never watched you never watched I've never seen abridged, I don't think, no. Oh, yeah, you missed it out. Yeah, I got to see abridged. It's basically, you know, it's Dragon Ball, but... I guess, damn it, I'm going to chop it up, and I know who's saying this. I know who said he's going to put his foot in my ass. Um, yeah, I, I highly recommend it. it. It's very adult-orientated. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> but, yeah. So what are a few things that you have had to overcome to get where you are today? Personal personal adversities. Um, whatever it may be, man. Whatever yeah, someone does, man. Oh, no, that's, 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 that's what I was saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, okay. No okay. okay. No I worry, thought you were no asking. Worry, my no bad. Worry. My bad. No worries. I, um... Yeah, personal adversities. Um, just knowing that you can do it, you know? Like, you're supposed to be able to do anything you put your mind to. And you're supposed to be able to do anything you put your mind to. So it's like, you know, why not? I'm not hurting nobody. And if I'm good at it, let's all do it together. Exactly. You know, WR stand up. I guess uh, <laughs> with just being able to just if you put your mind to it, it works. Do you have any advice for somebody who might just be getting over that hurdle? Like something like just to get that ball rolling. Keep going. Keep going. Red Man video. <laughs> <laughs> have, have Red Man crush you and then build from the ground up. <laughs> no, keep going. I mean, if, it, if it's a passion, if it's something that you truly, truly want to do, do it because the more people that say that you can't do it, when you do do it, it's just going to feel that much better. Facts. Prove you people know? wrong. Yeah. Totally, totally. That's, my new, that's, that's my new hobby. That's my new hobby. Prove people wrong. Hell oh, man, yeah, that's wrong. my new hobby. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm God. I fucking, I am right there with you, man. It's great. Hell yeah. <laughs> so when somebody comes and listens to your music, what is something you want them to take away with it? Originality. You know, I don't want to sound like the other person, which is not bad. I'm not saying that you shouldn't sound like the other person, but you kind of shouldn't sound like the other person. You know? I've like, <laughs> been influenced, but not copycat. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. You know, um, just originality, you know, wordplay. Um, yeah, originality. 
I like that. Say yeah. it again. Originality. 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 Now, right. I guess uh, I could, could I kind of tie this into a question I had. Um, when you write, do you really try to write for those punches within your lyrics? Because you were kind of saying originality and then going into your lyricism. No. Um, I take into accountability my asthma. Okay. okay. So I work around that. Okay. Um, where would I take a breath if I was to perform? Or I know this is kind of stepping out of it, the scope. But like, <coughs> say, if um, I got. I got the 18 or 16. I got the 16. Before I start my second bar or my second verse, I might um, pace around spitting it. Pace around spitting it. That way I'm using energy. I'm mm -hmm. using breath mm -hmm. control. I'm trying okay. to get that going. So then I sit down, spit it again to see where I'm at. If I'm kind of comfortable, this is kind of where it, the baseline is, then we'll keep going. If I'm like, okay, I'm a little dizzy, I'm a little hot. I'm a little not hot, but you know I'm just, I, I don't feel right. Yeah. Then yeah, I probably need um, better breath control, maybe less words, more okay. pauses. Okay. Anything. Okay. I will say one thing I want to commend you for is I really like the fact that you have a more old school sound, but you have those new school bars because you you talk about a lot of things that like you hear the younger generation talking about but you still got that old school feel to what you put out. And I just, I just want to commend you on that. Thank I think that's you. really unique. It, you're the first person I've really seen doing that late. Thank you. So like, I, I fuck with it. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Um, I mean, cause that's just paying homage to where I got it started from. You know, like, you kinda, have, you kinda gotta have respect, you know? Of course. Kinda, you, you kinda gotta have respect, man. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> people will disrespect you. And then you're like, oh, why you disrespect me? Cause you have no respect. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we're going to get into the social media deep dive now. Deep dive. Okay, okay, okay. So on Instagram, you currently have 366 followers and nice, 635 nice. posts. Appreciate first, all of them. Your first ever post that I can see is from October 21st, 2017. So you sitting on a cut down tree. Is there a story with indeed, that? Indeed, indeed. Um, that tree was like broke and it had to be taken care of. So um, they cut it down. I figured I wanted to take a picture of it. So, took a picture of it. Take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you remembered it, right? Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> and then your second ever post is a menu of a hibachi grill. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, hibachi. Why did you post the menu, though? You see, you see how good like... it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I'm getting this. the steak and chicken hibachi, man. Wait, uh, is yeah, it from? You, you oh, lobster it's tail. oh, no, lobster tail and steak. Did oh, you see, see my I... comment that I posted on the on No, I did not. I, 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 when I was looking at it, I, I said, I'll take a, I'll take a uh, lobster tail. Lobster tail. Steak. Nice. I would not give it to because I'm allergic to seafood. Oh, oh. Okay. That's what I heard about no worries, no worries. Lobster's dank, bro. I know. I see the, I see the commercials. The like, ocean. damn, oh, I'm missing man, out. I'm missing out. Got me itching like a bee. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got any of that lobster? <laughs> that lobster squirt. I need to squirt a lobster butter. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> So what kind of memories does the Work and Learning Center High School bring back? Good memories. Good memories. Um, Because I, the first half of the day we worked on a, building a house, and the second half of the day we worked on building our minds. You know, you got paid at the end of the week, and you also get your GED. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's so. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> work and learn, what up? <laughs> Laura That's what it is to learn while you work. Laura yeah. in the chat also says that the tree was gonna crush the house otherwise either way. See, so, so you have to cut it down. It. Um, and <laughs> also down. Ian also says that I need to tell you that you better be in at some point tomorrow. If not, you better call in at some point tomorrow. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> take, that, take that up with Ian. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's that, that's that manager talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your manager? <laughs> All right. That's Good that to manager know. talk. <laughs> Good to know. Um, so you have... Oh, wait. We were talking about that. Um, I and you, you have a lot of... You, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, it looks like you post a lot about uh, celebrities, um, whether they, they have passed or something had happened mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. Is there a celebrity death that hit you the hardest, one that kind of set you back? I mean... This is uh, probably a generic ass answer or whatever, but it did. Probably Tupac's the hardest. Um, man, yeah, yeah. And my mom didn't even let me go to school that day. Damn, no. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. I got a free ride to the. Got, uh, well, not a free ride. I sure went to school back when I got know, So sure. I don't know why though. Like, I do know why. But yeah, that that impacts. 
really, really hit. And then I don't want to say Biggie's was was as big, but it was more like, what the fuck is happening type ordeal, you know? Mm -hmm. It was like six months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, not even a year, you know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably two bucks. Okay. Two bucks. All right. But it's always kind of unfortunate when you see, like, you know, tiny. <clears throat> From Friday pass, or like you know, just a motherfucker you didn't think about in years. It's like, oh, he's dead now. Or, yeah. Oh, she's gone now. Like, damn, kind of want to listen to DMX shit now. You know, like cause when that, that happened, shit. it was like, oh, wow. That one was low, mind blown. You know, and then you immediately put in um, "It's Dark and Hell Is Hot." That first album was just. I mean, who else went double platinum with two different albums in one year? X. Not many. Not many. <laughs> not, not, not any. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You also take a lot of pictures of food, from donuts mm. to tater tots to ramen <laughs> noodles. Do you enjoy cooking? What's your favorite food? All right, the donut ones, that was when I was working at a grocery store. So oh, okay, okay. You know, Boop, 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 boop. Damn, I did a good job. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> yeah, donuts. yeah, 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 making yeah, donuts. Right. Yeah, gotcha. making donuts. Um, the oodles and noodles, obviously that's a, a super super cheap uh, meal. Just throw a fucking chicken breast in that bitch and some some, some vegetables. Shit. I never throw anything in my ramen. I'm not going to lie. Do it. Do it. You, you, get, you get the big belly on, man. I'm like, damn, why am I full? Oh, yeah, that chicken breast. Mm, that mean, makes sense. That <laughs> chicken breast. I'll have to try to get some recipes from you. Gotta improve that wrapper menu. So what's your favorite food, then? Ah, favorite food, probably cereal. Really? Really? Okay, no, I, I like to it. eat. I, I like to it. eat. I like to eat. I like my my, my meats and yep. my, you know chicken and stuff. But it's like, man, what the fuck I'm gonna do? Uh, I watch some of some cereal. I, I like the box of cereal. Oh, <laughs> the box. Box. I buy it by the bag, so yeah, I don't know. No, no, oh, 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 my bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but the bags do taste better. I think they really? do. Okay. I think I, they do. I, like the bags I, I think it's just more like a what is it? A seal status. Like a status, oh, I buy a cereal in the box. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I probably yeah. need to go back to the bags. Was it Moto Meal and, and shit? And you get more in the bags. And you get and more in the bag. bags. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Do you yeah. have a favorite cereal? Is it like Reese Puffs or? Right now, it's, it is it is chocolate and peanut butter Cheerios. Ooh. Chocolate and peanut butter Cheerios? I've never heard of that. No, no I heard, I that's, that, that's that box shit. See, I got the box shit. Well, no, chocolate and peanut butter Cheerios. Yeah, man. All right, all right, all right. And uh, I see you attended the Anime Midwest Convention yeah, July yeah. 5th, 2019. How was that experience? That was fun. Um, I, if you guys, yeah, you guys watch anime, I'll say, yeah, go go, people watching. If you even, if, I wouldn't say if you're broke. Because then you're going to be like, man, I wish I had some money to buy some shit. And then you're going to be upset. But, um, yeah. <laughs> if you, if you, it sounds like you speak from experience. Man. <laughs> But yeah, if you go to if you go to an anime convention, I totally recommend it because it's That's just a different energy. Say. It's just a different energy, and like the merch is good. Um, you and might the cosplays are crazy all the time. Crazy! Yeah. It's like man, these are people that's buying stuff to make them look like their favorite cosplayer, rather than somebody getting paid to to wear something. You know, like there's a different energy. You know, it's like, oh, that, that looks nice. How much that? How, how much did that cost? Oh, it took me three years and this, that, and the third to make. Like, holy shit, three years? Yeah. You brought it to public? <laughs> yeah, right. That's almost high school. I would have gotten that fucking dirty by now. Yeah. Right? I bring yeah. a picture. Yeah, there's yeah. just that genuine love of wearing that nice. and like just wrapping your character. Totally, totally, totally. Yeah, and then like motherfuckers is like willing to take pictures. Like, like I said, I like Rock Lee, so it's cool to see like a female Rock Lee because you know Rock Lee's a guy. Yeah. So it's like, oh, she appreciates Rock Lee, so she'll dress up like Rock Lee and do some shit. Yeah, hell yeah. twist on it. Hell yeah, yeah. hell okay. yeah. I, I, I fucks with that. Mm -hmm. So moving on to SoundCloud now, did you start posting music on SoundCloud? The first place you ever started posting music? Or I guess you said CDs. Yeah, but, but after CDs, yeah, that would okay. probably be. Have you ever been stuck in the SoundCloud rapper stereotype? Nah, no? nobody was listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> he, was a, he wished he was a soccer yeah, right, yeah, fuck I it. fucking wish, bro. I, I, I'll take, I'll take it. I fucking wish, man. Turn, 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 that, turn that title into my own. Oh yeah. my god, that's. Oh that no, was a, that I, was a great answer. What was it answer. to me to become a, a SoundCloud rapper? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. That was a fantastic oh, answer. I appreciate it. Um, so where can we expect SG the first in the future? Anime expect? conventions. I think that would be. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, catch you I think, but yeah, I think, I think, because I mean, I mean, you should get a stage and perform there. It's, it's already dope. It, I, I think that would be. That's a good niche. 
You know, like rappers aren't going at. I mean, they will show like T-shirts and hoodies and shit, or have it in a bar, but have it in a, a lyric. But like nobody's really going to what. I know everybody's gonna go to anime conventions after I say this, but like you don't see it. You know, you don't see it. So I don't mind. Yeah, it's not embraced. Exactly, I like that. So maybe that's that will be where I start, and then we'll go from there. Because the anime, the anime population is. Huge. Huge. Yeah, massive. They come out of the orderworks when you break it up. Massive. Yeah, thank you, like, okay. you, see this one? you won't even so, think that they watch anime, and then you say something about anime, and they're like, oh, you watch anime? Yeah, 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 totally, totally. Oh, man. So do you have any short-term goals, maybe even some long-term goals? Stay healthy. Okay. <laughs> Stay healthy. That's both. Totally. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Fucking perfect. That's what we need around here. Uh, so, what song or project are you working on right now? I know you you got Volume Three coming out right I now. Do. Um, I do. I, I apologize. I apologize to everybody. I um didn't email them in time to play my um two new projects off the album, but they will get it up there, and um those will be uh CW Hip Hop exclusives. I'll get them up right away for you guys. So nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Um, I'm really liking. Oh, see, I, I could say it, but it doesn't do it any justice until, until people can hear it. But the two that you guys are going to get are um, Energy and um, Coming For Me. I really like those two. Those are really, uh, like, I'm, I'm, I think I'm finding this sound a lot, sh- I don't want to say streeter, but just grimier. Streeter. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know, yeah, a little raw. Yeah, a little yeah, raw. Okay. okay. You know, like, it's definitely... This album is definitely gonna be people. This album is definitely gonna be for people with systems. This okay. is gonna knock. Okay. Like a, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like a okay. real knocking like album. Okay. Use yeah. the bass in your yeah. Really make yeah. sure yeah. it's getting yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really, I got and, yeah. and then playing with my voice and shit too. I think it's really gonna stand out. And I think this. I think I'm gonna get a lot of eyes on this one. Good. And that's what I'm looking for. I fucking okay. hope so, man. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. Totally, We're definitely totally, gonna promote totally, the fuck totally, out of it as much. Oh yeah, definitely. Totally. Um, so, sh- wait. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we won't expect anything to do yeah. uh, If you could choose any artist to get a feature from for free, who would it be? Probably Busta Rhymes. Boss Probably Busta Rhymes. Rhymes. Ah, he, he, okay. His energy is just... Do you like, do you like Tech 9 I guess? I do. Like I do. I do, I do. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> you know, see, you can't... Hey, that's a good one though, cause it's like now that you said, it, it's like when I, I do, I do. Oh, you, you, you never listen exactly, and, and it's I, like, oh, and you don't listen to Tech Nine. Oh, but that's a good one though. Out. That's a good one. Cause you what know? is this label called? Strange Music. Strange, strange. Yeah. yeah, strange music. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's putting on the rock now, so he's good. yeah. Facts, yo, the rock had a great verse on God. <laughs> Oh God, I love that fucking song. Did you hear yeah. that song? No, I didn't. Oh, you yeah. like the rock, oh, rock, the real rock, the way the rock. Yeah. Johnson, yeah. Johnson, holy I'm, shit! I'm showing you right after this podcast. Yeah. Holy I'm pul- shit! Yep, 100. Everybody it's got really bars. Good. It's Everybody's good. Good. <laughs> 100%. I'm not gonna lie to you though. It sounds like Tech Nine wrote the verse but for still, the rock, but yeah. it still goes hard. 100. Um, percent So as we approach the end of the show, I have one more important question to ask you, and it is: Why should people care about SG the first? Why should people care about SG the first? Uh, I guess because I'm trying to bring it back to the originality. I'm trying to bring it to where uh, we're modest, with um, respect, with uh, lyrics, with bars, with a message. Um, We're staying clear to what we're teaching these kids because these kids are supposed to be our future and you can't really have a future if your hands on your waist, chicken ass, doing thought shit. I don't want my daughter doing thought shit. (laughs) Yeah, I, I would have that's, that's why. No disrespect. No disrespect. I, 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 I didn't mean to chew out anybody who's on that. If that's your life, that's your life. That's cool. I'm just saying, I don't want my daughter to be on. Hey man, that I feel you. Like I said, I, I hope I never have a daughter. Ever. It happens. Oh, and man. you might get one just because so you hope you don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. So, what's that? You so say here we come to the end of the show. Here we come to the end of the show. If you were to rate this interview one out of ten, what would you rate it? I'll rate it a ten. I have fun with you all. That's what's I mean, up. this, 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 the drive was nice. The drive back's gonna be slick. I know people already blowing up my shit. You know, talking <laughs> shit. So <laughs> I, I, this was fun, man. I, I no, got out my comfort zone. And I that. appreciate it's that like pizza. It's... <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. Bro. Would you recommend other artists coming and getting? Of course, of course. I've been trying to get twenty to, to to network with you guys. I got a uh, 
Tony, he's um, getting his shit together and then, you know, come network with you guys and just do it again. Okay. I like this. Yeah, now yeah. you've been here, uh, you're always welcome back. We can have you as a special guest. So yeah, if you have an on for you, yeah. come yeah. promote it or something like just that. Just come yeah. bullshit with us on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Hang out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Because like, that's what we're going to be doing next week with Ace Wild. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be Yeah, we interviewed him a few months ago, so he's coming back to talk about his project. Um. So this is kind of where you can go ahead and promote anything you want. You kind of have the floor, talk about anything you want, give shout outs. You can even ask us questions if you want. Take as much time as you'd like. Ah, she, um. She. <laughs> <laughs> WI stand up, man. I appreciate CW Hip Hop for doing what they're doing. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, <laughs> that's what we do. Well, the real slim shape, please stand up. <laughs> Uh, to everybody who's been on, um, had my back since day one, thank you. Um, musically, spiritually, emotionally, everything. You know, couldn't do this without you guys. So thank you, thank you. And um, yeah, man, let's just try and get this world back to where it needs to be. Hell this yeah. shit kind of sucks. <laughs> this shit sucks. This shit, this shit is the hood right now. Right. This ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> so hell yeah. Everywhere is O Block at the moment. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. It sucks. Stay inside. Stay inside! Yeah, literally. Real today, Social no distance. Yeah. Everything. Don't talk to other people. You gotta have a mask on nowadays. God damn. It's crazy over here. Oh, man. It's been a great show. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, anything else you want to do? Any oh, man. I'm keeping it short and sweet. All right. Sure. All right. Cool. Thank we like that. You. Yes. Thank you so much for coming out. We've had a great time getting to know Fuck who yes. Thank you to everybody is. listening as Everybody well. listening thank as well. Thank you. If you're in the IG here, if you're listening on the back, uh, recording of this, it is going up on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, all that, so you can listen to that. And at some point, it'll it. be on YouTube. Some I point. need to edit these. It's hard. Okay, I need to upgrade my place, my PlayStation, my PC. I'm editing on my No, I don't even own a fuck. Oh, I do, but it's a PlayStation Two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're not bad. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But either way, I gotta. Yeah, it'll be out soon. On yes. yes, all the other ones will too. So yeah. Yeah, and uh, it'll take a few days, um, probably a day or two, and I'll get this edited so then uh, it's good quality and uh, put it out there and we'll hit you up with the link for it so you can start sharing Thanks, it out man. there. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's All been right. a great show. Follow us at CW Hip Hop. Follow me at Darky Gaines on IG, G A R K E G A I N Z. Yep. What about CW Hip Hop. Uh, follow me at BBNC95. Prism, where can they find you at? Prism, we P R I Z M R A P on Instagram and Facebook. And SG, where can they find you? SG the first, Instagram, Twitter. I think I got a Twitter, but. Uh, I think I got a Twitter. I I got a Twitter. <laughs> oh, yeah, I might That's... have one too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I might. We all created but, one. Yeah. You use it. Music on Spotify, music on SoundCloud, music on Instagram, uh, YouTube. YouTube. Say music on Instagram? Let's yeah. go. Where did they, when they start that? <laughs> right? YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. 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 All right. Oh my gosh. Right. And that's SG the first SG one the SD. First. So go give one follow there. Exactly. Thank exactly. you guys so much for tuning in. Have Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Yeah. And we'll w see you next week. Stand up. W I stand Woo. up. <laughs> see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.